check it out guys if you're interested in seeing some milwaukee battery powered outdoor power equipment you're gonna want to watch this video so let's get started roll the intro If you buy the Milwaukee M18 fuel string trimmer combo, you will get the nine amp hour battery with it right here. But we're gonna take this one out. So this is the nine amp hour. We're gonna switch to the 12 amp hour. This is the high output battery. You can see it's definitely a little bit bigger. So we're gonna see how much we can cut using several attachments. The first project I'm gonna do is test out the edger for the first time. Okay, I've got it fully charged. I'm gonna start down there, work this way, and then do the other side going back. Say that looks good. Show you a close up. What do you think? One thing I noticed, it has a lot of power to kick the dirt going back. So you'll see what I'm talking about right here. I seem to find my favorite setting with the wheel right in the middle. You can see that right there. That works the best. Okay, I'm on a garage storage building right now. A couple years ago I cut all the tree limbs right here that are growing over the roof this backs up to a woods so it's mostly i believe box elder trees right here they're a uh, maple variety they tend to grow sideways or at an angle diagonal i don't know if you can see that right there so i'm gonna cut them back with the milwaukee pole saw i'm gonna stand on the ground down there and cut up i've had bar oil in this overnight and the good thing is i haven't noticed any leaks so that's good. So now we took off the edger, put on the pole saw, ready to cut. And before I get started with the chainsaw, I just want to say make sure you have the proper safety gear, personal protection equipment. Let's go. All right, the first wave of work went really well. It cleaned everything up off the roof. Now I'm actually gonna go up on the roof. It's probably like a 312 or a 412, so it's not that steep. And I wanna cut a couple of those branches because they're almost hanging down. And I think I better do it now before they actually fall and land on the roof when they get really big and heavy. And nothing laying on the roof. Pull saw really worked nice. It just tackled those limbs in like five minutes. I had more time dragging them and cleaning them up than I did actually doing the cutting.
So the chainsaw worked really well for me. Let's see how much we have left. I'm at three out of four bars after running the sidewalk edger and the pull saw. So I took the pull saw off. Now we're gonna install the hedge trimmer. I find it works best to have this on the ground. Sarah from Cop Tool posted on Instagram. That's her little hack to make it work better. So we're gonna take this off. Ready? Let's go do some trimming. I'm gonna trim that small bush. I'm gonna trim this bigger one right here. Just kind of clean it up a little bit. I like to do it flat on top, kind of like a 45 degree bubble there, and then uh, have an angle taper in a little bit and uh, kind of clean up the bottom. Same with this right here. I did this a couple months ago. You see it needs a little cleanup. It's a little tricky working around the pole right there, but I'll try not to hit it with the trimmer. So now I just did a nice little touch up trim job on the three bushes right here. Time to get the backpack blower out and clean up the dead leaves. So my next project is to edge this section of sidewalk right here, all the way past that driveway a little bit, about 20 feet, both sides. that is waterproof a little bit we're taking a little break trying to get underneath a tree but the rain is really pouring all right try this again later this is what the edge looks like after a pouring rain all right, so you had a chance to see a lot of the accessories with this. The one that I didn't show you yet is the line trimmer itself. I made a review of this in the early spring, really before any weeds and tall grass, before that was really out yet. So I'm on two bars right now, so I'm gonna do a little bit of trimming over here, and then over there in the ditch. You know, it seems weird when you're running battery power equipment, you really don't have to wear the hearing protection. You still need the eye protection, but it just feels weird running a trimmer without any earmuffs on. But anyways, Let's get started over here. I'm gonna try not to hit the tree with the line. I didn't mention this video, but there is a high and a low speed, just in case you're seeing this review for the first time. My other video, I pointed that out. That's a low speed can't shift on the fly you have to stop it here's high see the difference it's difficult for me to get in here with the mower so I'm gonna use the line trimmer to clean the ditch up a little bit One bar left. All right, so I, here's what I did. I cleaned up all around here, inside the landscape bed, 
and then this ditch right here all the way from here almost to where that bush is at so it definitely took on some tall weeds which i'm glad to see i just powered right through it check it out i got the chainsaw bar back out i'm going to put a four and a half to five inch log in diameter in this log holder right here i'm going to just see with one bar left i don't know if i'm going to get like three cuts or if i'm going to get 10 cuts but let's see how many cuts we can get Okay, that's two so far, I'm gonna move the camera. I just set the camera up to get another one, and then I picked this up, pulled the trigger, and nothing. So when I push that button, the red light there, see if you can see it right there, the red light is blinking. So, I really, I was, I was excited about this shot, so what I'm gonna do is just grab my other battery real quick, just so you can see it from that angle. All right, so this right here is the battery. They got all that work done, all the accessories, ton of stuff. The M18 Red Lithium High Output HD 12 amp hour battery. I'm gonna just grab the nine amp hour just cause I wanna show you this angle of it being cut. I thought it was kind of cool looking, so I'll be right back. This one has two bars left on it. So I just wanna show you guys that it's the battery itself that ran out, it's not overheating. I have heard some comments of you guys running some of the Milwaukee outdoor power equipment and saying that it may have overheated and it shut down for a little while. So if that's happened to you, let me know. It happened one time to me when I was running the trimmer pretty hard. Let's see how this works. All right, so at the end of the day, I feel like I really got a lot accomplished on one battery charge. All these different accessories, amount it to a lot of work especially like the edging when i said i think 740 feet of edging and then all the other things i did too it's amazing so i think you're gonna be really happy if you upgrade to the 12 amp hour battery you know in this video i'm sure i could have got a lot done with the 9 amp hour battery but since i had a 12 amp hour battery that came with this right here if you want to see this video the super sawzall with a 12 amp hour battery i'll have a link to this down below too so i think if you're looking to go out and do some work you're gonna be very happy with what you can get done on one 12 amp hour battery. Let me know down below what kind of experiences you've had if you've tried this. If you have any questions about any of the accessories, anything I left out, let me know, I'll be happy to respond. And so hopefully I've been able to help you guys learn more about all this stuff. So if you find the video interesting, informative, and helpful, please give it a thumbs up and help support my channel. That's it friends, thanks for watching. See you next time.